well you just have number of dollar more than 200 million and you spent most of them on buying and upgrading ship but you don't know what type of autocannon and anti-air system you should consider using them I can recommend you with different types 1. For anti-air missile systems, both VLS launch based on an CIWS, RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile, ERAM, or NOAA's Standard Missile 6, SM-6, and RIM-161 Standard Missile 3, SM-3, version but both of them are more suitable for intercept aerial targets more than 6 km because in lower altitudes the missile itself are less effective at the target was doing high maneuverability measures than the interceptor projectiles can miss the target S-500, possible the most expensive missile in all type of multi-purpose missile for both ground and aerial threat but it more efficiently and effectively for anti-air rather than ship and got a higher damage compared 161 and more effective at all altitudes and range for close in weapons system based and anti-air system that are not changeable S-400 and HHQ-9B or 9M-96E2 or NOAA's 9K-96 Redyet and C Sepor but are more suitable for use against multiple aerial targets or one by one at the same time for multi-separate airspace and for anti-air based system A, RIM-7C Sparrow, Serum Cius, M22 Uragan, HHQ 10 Cs and being co as Florida 3000 but in actual terms of efficiency and deadly. C RAM have a excellent performance and for high fragmentation damage RIM 7 and M22 but RIM 7 are more suitable for use against both ASHAM and M22 are more effective for use to intercept incoming missile but not the hypersonic missile due its speed are extremely high speed and most of lock anti-air missile systems are more likely area control because it main task are dealing AOE damage effect against all kinds of aerial threat but not limited to missile deloy from air and by far the best of them are 9M96E2 and S400 and HHQ9B close in weapons system that are gun based or combined with missile for more effective Gapoon because it can sweep away strikes fighter or fighter and bomber but they are somehow quick when shot down helicopter but still have a lower range when come compared to Panzer ME export version, are less effective to use against aerial feet and the Panzer ME are more suitable for intercepting missile but not 100% accurate and are reliable when used against ground targets and they're another cheaper method. Use Kashtan M close in weapons system that are gun type that are highly effective against plane due to continuous damage however, its damage depends on how many projectiles hit, which is random RNG. Due to this, it often fails to block missiles, because their speed gives the double A less chances to hit, and is regarded as ineffective but there are still some exceptions a type 2030 and 3M89. And about autocannon well you get 6 choice, rapid fire and HPJ-17 or Marlin 40mm or Typhoon MLS NLOS and 3M47, anti-ground, so each of autocannon has its effective range and disadvantage so in different situations, force you to use the right tools for the right job section 1. Our enemy ships is being detected and almost get destroyed but you strike fighter are reloading and are not available them I can recommend you with those weapons system. 3M47 and Marlin or Typhoon MLS NLOS and advantage of each platform specifically 3 meters 47. Good for immediate range and short range engagements Marlin. For both shot a range to long range Typhoon MLS NLOS. For quick suppression of aerial threat but not limited to missile and bomber or strike fighter, fighters and this thing is a improved system when compared to rapid fire section 2. A bomber is inbound to you position and you fighter are not available then I can recommend you with some advice. 
UC RAM plus Gapun or Panzer ME and Typhoon MLSN loss or rapid fire and for helicopters, SV-22 or Valor and CH-1, it you have that things, so that all and thank you for watching and until next time. Farewell.